students in unit 10 we are going to learn about food related interactions in this lesson we are going to learn about introduction on food related interactions food web mode of nutrition of animals in that herbivore, carnivore and omnivore and last food chain. Before I move on to the topic, I hope all of you have been to the zoo and you may have seen these animals in the zoo. But have you ever wondered what type of food these animals consume? Now we'll see what type of food these animals do consume. Parrot consume guava. Guava is a type of fruit. Monkeys consume banana. Birds consume fruits. Guava is a type of fruit. Bear. Bears consume flesh of other animals such as deer. Red snake. Red snake also consume the flesh of other animals like squirrel. Lion. Lion also consume the flesh of other animals like rabbit. Elephants. Elephants consume plant material such as bamboo. And finally, the zebra and rhinoceros. They also consume plant materials such as grass. Now, you must understand that different animals feed on different types of food food web before we understand what is food web we'll see a grade 6 student observed a guava tree in his home garden for several days and he interpret the data and observation as shown in this picture. During this observation, he found that squirrel, caterpillar and parrot, all of them find their food from that guava tree. Then, this squirrel is eaten by the rat snake and partridge. This caterpillar is eaten by chameleon and partridge. And this parrot is eaten by the rat snake. Chameleon is eaten by the rat snake and the partridge. This diagram shows the interaction between plants and animals and interactions between animals and animals as well. This figure shows the interactions among plants and animals in a piece of grassland. Here the grass is, is, grass is eaten by the grasshopper, caterpillar and the cow. The grasshopper is eaten by chameleon magpie and the cat. Chameleon is eaten by the rat snake and cat. The caterpillar is eaten by magpie. Here you can see there are a lot of interactions among plants and animals for their food. And also it shows that they are interconnected with each other. 
here they are connected as a web now you must understand what is a food web the diagram that shows the interrelationships among animals and plants is known as food web mode of nutrition of animals based on the mode of nutrition animals can be categorized into three groups they are herbivorous carnivorous and omnivorous herbivorous are animals that consume only plant materials example rabbit grasshopper goats cows and elephants carnivorous are animals that consume only flesh of other animals examples are leopard eagle lion fox and rat snake omnivorous are animals that consumes both flesh and plant materials examples include crow cockroach hen pig and bears but here you should note that some carnivorous animals have become omnivorous because they live with us human beings examples cats and dogs they are basically carnivorous but they have become omnivorous since they live with us food chains what are food chains before we understand what are food chains let's observe this food web in a forest plants eaten by goat rat and rabbit rabbit is eaten by leopard and fox goat is eaten by leopard and fox rat is eaten by the fox and owl from this food web we can write a connection from the plant to the leopard like this plant eaten by the rabbit and the rabbit is eaten by the leopard and it is a linear connection so here the interaction for the food is started from plant and it connects to other animals like a chain so now we'll see what is a food chain a linear sequence start from a green plant and shows the flow of energy from one living organism to another is known as food chain here are some other food chains taken from the above given food web plant is eaten by the goat and the goat is eaten by the leopard again the plant is eaten by the rat and rat is eaten by the owl now it is clear for you all that a food web is created by interconnections of 
several food chains. Links of a food chain. Now we'll see what are links of a food chain. Here is a simple food chain. The green plant is eaten by the rabbit. The rabbit is eaten by the leopard. In this food chain, green plant is the first unit of this food chain. Rabbit is the second unit of this food chain. And the leopard is the third unit of this food chain. Similarly, here the green plant is the producer, which produce food by photosynthesis. Rabbit is a consumer of the green plant and the leopard is also a consumer. Most commonly, the first link of a food chain is always a green plant. Here, these green plants use water, carbon dioxide and sunlight to produce their own food. This process is known as photosynthesis. As these green plants produce their own food, they are known as the producers. Other animals depend on these green plants for their food directly or indirectly. Like herbivores depend on green plants directly for their food and carnivores depend on green plants indirectly for their food. Those animals are known as consumers. If you clearly observe these interrelationships, you will understand by this process the energy stored in plants is transferred to other consumers through the food chain. If you observe, if a particular link of a food chain is destroyed, it will affect the existence of other links. For example, let's say in this given food chain, the frog is completely destroyed. So, what will happen? This eagle will not have enough food to fulfill their needs. At the same time, the number of grasshoppers will increase rapidly since they are not consumed by the frogs as they are destroyed. Now you will understand that all living beings are important to maintain the balance of the ecosystem. At the same time, when there is a large diversity in food consumed by these animals, their existence is more established. <laughs>